Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Last time, in a very short video, because I was in a time crunch but wanted to get it done, we cashed in the Nuka-Cola challenge, we made a boatload of Nuka grenades since we finally had our third schematic, and we ground our way up to level 25. Today, our goal is substantially simple, or more complicated, I was about to say simpler, but it's the opposite. Today, the goal is to finally go deal with Grey Ditch and Brian Wilkes and the quest those. Yes, we're finally going to fight the fire ants. Anybody who played this game when it came out probably made the same mistake I did, thinking that because of Grey Ditch's proximity to Megaton, the first town, you were meant to do that quest early, and then you bashed your head against the wall about the fire ants for a while, and then gave up or dropped the difficulty to very easy in order to finish the quest. At least, that's how it went for me. At level 25, we are more than strong enough to deal with these pricks now. So let's head over and do exactly that. Is that a giant? Yes, it is. Oh, I almost feel sorry for it. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I expected better. Try again. That's more like it. Anyway, a few things to do along the way. For the moment, I'm heading to, or attempting, to head to the sewer way station. Oh, I was going the right way. Go figure. I was about to say it occurs to me there might be an easier way to get there, but I'll sneak over. I am eating dinner now. I just, I want to get this video made because my wife happens to be at work, so forgive the sound of crunching. I'm eating a flatbread, fresh out of the oven. Mmm! That is as delicious as I could hope. Don't worry, I will be emphasize the crunch once. I'll even move the microphone piece aside for the next use. So here's the sewer way station. So, first thing we're going to tackle is an unmarked Talon Company camp. It's actually inside a building. See the one with all the ventilation ducts? It's unmarked, much like the uh, car dealership we were at earlier. But rest assured, it's there. Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me! Alright, we'll let him talk to us now. Those what? What's the matter? Those... things! They keep coming! They scare me! Make it stop! Hey, hey, calm down. It's going to be okay, I promise. You won't leave me like all the other grown-ups. You... you can help me. I'd like to help, but I need to know more first. Those... big things. They're all over Greyditch, and they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. What happened here? It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Did you know the others in town very well? Nah. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. 
In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Who else lived in Great Edge? Um, besides me and my Papa, there was Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his Mama and Papa, too. I guess they're all gone now. Let me ask you something else. All right. What is it? Mind if I ask about some of the people who lived there? Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. Tell me about this Doc Lesko. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. Where did Dr. Lesko stay? He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny-looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. Do you have any idea what Dr. Lesko was doing in Greyditch? Nah, he was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. Did Dr. Lesko have any weird stuff in his place? I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. That was kind of neat. About the other people from... Excuse me. About the other people from Grey Ditch. Yeah? Tell me about the Brandis family. Well, there is Will. He was sort of my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. Where did the Brandises live? Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. So you and Will were good friends? Yeah. Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. We explored pretty much every bit of Grey Ditch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. How about Will's parents? Well, his mom was nice too. She was kind of quiet, but she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean, but he was kind of scary. Will's dad was scary? How so? He was like, always watching me and my dad real careful, like he didn't trust us or something. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. About the other people from Grey Ditch. Yeah? Let me ask you something else. Alright. What is it? Can you tell me more about the things attacking Grey Ditch? Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, <laughs> that's what he used to call them anyway. I just call them fire ants. Is there any special way to hurt them? My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Have they always been around? Nah. No. Those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town, and, well, you know the rest. Let me ask you something else. All right, what is it? Where's your house? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll go look for your father. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. <clears throat> Look, anything else you can do to help might save lives. Nope. All I got is what's left on my back. Is there anywhere you can hide while I search? Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. 
But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. Quest added. Those. After all that waiting, I still didn't pass the speech check, but I don't really care. Find Brian Wilkes' father. Well, maybe I do. Let me see where my last save actually is. Oh, good. Not too far. So I can just blitz through the conversation and try to, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. First, I want to track Brian down. If I can actually get a good quick save before talking to him. I think he might have spawned in right behind me. Those monsters... You won't... Let's get through all this. Blah, 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 blah. Nope. Oh, come on. This is killing me. Those monsters... They... You won't... Nope. Those monsters... No. Those things. They're right behind me. Leave me alone! Those things! It's all their fault! They did this to us! No! You don't care! The grown-ups never cared! Now they're all dead! Well fine! You'll just die too! Please don't get mad at me. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Just help me! Promise you'll help me! You know, maybe this will help, and maybe it won't. But Papa hid a bunch of stuff behind the old diner and a dumpster. He trusted me with the key, and said it was for emergencies. But I bet he wouldn't mind you having it. There we go. Great itch dumpster key added, note added, Brian's special key. Is there anywhere you can hide while I search? Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But, I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back! Alright, there we go. I think I can talk to him inside the shelter and if I can't, I really don't care. Good timing, actually. I just finished dinner. So you all can be relieved of the crunching. This is a Talon Company camp. Over here! Oh, come on. Pop. Yep. Aha! There Come on now. Help. Aha! There you are. Might have taken a little 
little bit of a lick because he did hit me while I was in VAT. Now let's search through the three. First, let me make sure my armor is now fully repaired. It is. Those three are it for in here. So let's search the place. 10 millimeter pistol, sledgehammer, ammo box, two cabinets, microfusion cells, and a stealth boy, and a laser rifle if you're into that. Let's see, we have a toolbox with a paint gun and some hunter glue. We have an ammo box. There's a copy of tumblers today. Useless to me. There's another ammo box. Let's check this other room. Empty. Microfusion cells. Useless. Little ammo. Anyway, the the skill book is noteworthy thing in there, but really, we want to explore everywhere, don't we? Of course we do. Now, let's head over to the sewer way station. We've had it on our map since the Rivet City run at the very beginning of this playthrough. Now, we're actually going to explore it. Let me clear the exterior of this building. So let's go inside. You're listening to Galaxy News Radio, and I'm your host, Ray Dog, Lord and Master of all I survey. Note that while there are plenty of red hash marks, they are simply red Girls of the Brotherhood of Steel continue to fight for that giant red folks. They've recently stepped up patrols in the downtown DC. I did not realize there was a giant red scorpion in here. I'm guessing the entire capital the wasteland has been overrun a long time ago. It's good to so know. if you see a knight or a paladin out there fighting your battles for you, give them a big thanks. Or even better, some ammo. There's one over there. Until Just trying time, to gather the these teddy bears and Clear all the red marks off the compass. Thought this was a sewer way station. The presence of the teddy bears on an assembly line is senseless. Oh well. Just keep on getting things. There's a Chinese pistol, frag grenade, and a cigarette. Here, we have a pack of cigarettes and some vodka, if you're so inclined. That one's above me. Oh, below me. Must be below me. <clears throat> there actually isn't anything above me. The figure. We got two bottle caps and two clipboards.
skeleton with a Nuka Cola Quantum in a fridge. Got a couple of turpentines in here. There are some sugar bombs. Cans, a couple of turpentines, a few more tin cans, more turpentines, inside the toolbox, conductor, scrap metal sensor module, nothing over here, more tin cans, still more turpentine. I did not want that milk bottle. I knew I picked up something useless. Darts. Paint that sensor module with wonder glue. Little tin cans, and I actually like a wrench I didn't want. A couple more tin cans. Up here we've got scrap metal. brushed in somewhere he shouldn't be. Let's go find him. I'm gonna guess down. Yep. Hello, buddy. Alright, let's get our shotgun back. Let's head into the county sewer main line. Feral ghouls. Awesome. This one's standard. And appears to be alone. Pop him. Take his caps. Get the ammo next to this unfortunate dead mercenary. And... We now have two ways to go west, either uphill or on the level. Let's explore the straight one first. Grab that ammo. This eventually pops us out in an area near the citadel. and could be of use during the Rivet City run, if one were so inclined. Good night, friends. First glow of one, nothing. Second glow of one, nothing. 10 millimeter rounds, Wastelander with some chems. Hooray, hooray, hurrah. Let's keep going. Next loop. There's another glowing one. I can see trolling around. Got any more. Let's search those. Standard ghouls in here. Easily dealt with. Let's just keep on marching. Oh, 
over here we have a lowly rad roach. Why I'm not hidden, I don't know. Maybe he can smell me. Right. Have no fear. I think we can. I didn't miss much. But back here at the Wastelander Corpse where those first two ghouls were. There's a grenade on the floor. There it is. You can see why I missed it, can't you? Let's grab the frag grenade. Now well, let's head back to that room. Now then, where were we? Interesting layout. Only one way we can go, despite the appearance of an open room. Ah, now here we can either go downstairs or we can stay on this level. Stay on the level for now. Note that this door is activated elsewhere. Let's open this easy lock gate. Pick up a fission battery, a sensor module, two pre-war books, and a big book of science on the table. That, of course, is useless to me. Search the metal box, two bobby pins and a cherry bomb. Desk is empty. Don't want to miss that cigarette. Sewer management access computer. Oh. Sewer management welcomes you. Please insert a command. Purge sewage overflow. Local error. Purge system non-functional. Water treatment status. Central error. System non-functional. And finally, activate storage door. Storage door activated. We are free to murder a couple of rad roaches. Yeah. they honestly want is to flee. I cannot allow that.
and it shall die unless it has vanished. In which case, I don't particularly care about it. I think it's still over here. any rad roach murder. All right. In here we got ammo. We got ammo. A bunch of conductors. Sensor module. Paint gun. Jet. Very easy lock first aid box. Right away in stim packs. Let's see. We got 32 bullets. First aid box. Jet next to a skeleton. It also has a harmonica. All right, we got rat away, pilot light, and one more ammo box. Alrighty. <clears throat> now let's move over here. Creep down these stairs. farther downstairs. Now let's explore this level first. Not really seeing anything in the central room, but we've got a room open here to the west. There's a glowing one inside. quiet if you can get them with the gauntlet. Yeah. As well as a standard barrel. Red pass card, shotgun shells, bottle caps. Not bad. Now, what do we have back here? Nothing. Just a drinking glass under a barrel. Remove the barrels, what do we find? A toolbox with two scrap metals. Another toolbox, conductor and wonder glue, and another empty wooden box. Alright, what about up front? Ammo, toolbox, two scrap metals, empty, that's fine. Toolbox, conductor, scrap metal, wonder glue, very easy locked ammo box. 32 caliber rounds. Ah, combat knife. In this toolbox, two scraps and a sensor module. <clears throat> There's an ver another very easy locked ammo box up there. Toolbox, conductor, and scrap metal. And I think that's it for this room. Let's go back again. Head down the next set of stairs. To what I hope and assume is actually the bottom. Nope. Another staircase and a door. Shut the door. spot where I can search him. That's not asking too much. Take his caps. We'll go kill this rat roach. room we got gas and the 
nothing else. Here to the north. Oh, look, two glowing ones. For a silent kill. Now that I can get it. And two. That should be everything in here. There's really nothing in this room besides the enemies, but why wouldn't you want to kill everything? Come on. All right, now let's get back here. Pop through this door. Dead end there, so let's head to the west. Skeleton, no his stim pack, pistol, and ammo. Note the average locked terminal and average locked safe. First, let's search the ammo box. More ammo. Empty. A hunting rifle. Toolbox. Two wonder glues. Ammo box. First aid box. Let's pick the lock on the safe. Terminal just for giggles. Expanded. 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 Perfect. Good. Let's go down. 
the stairs. That is about it for this branch, I believe. Got a dead end there. Great. Head over here. And note here, sewer grate to the capital wasteland. Puts us right next to that nest of raiders. In that respect, it's not great, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's flee back to the other branch. Successfully cleaned that one out. All the way back. Yes, indeed. Out. Out, out. And we're gonna go... I'd rather not miss that experience in those grenades. The answer is not very, which is good. Very good. for that little hiccup. Let's keep quick saving as we go this time. Should help. Disarm the tripwire. And we'll grab tin cans. We'll disarm this grenade bouquet. I'm gonna check my carry weight. I cannot pick up the vacuum cleaner or the steam gauge assembly, which means now it actually is time to go offload. Go figure.
Interesting, when it already says we're in Great Itch. Back to Megaton. It'll also give me a chance to refresh my well-rested bonus, which is never a bad thing to do. Welcome home, sir! I know. Let's go upstairs. Drop off our questables. Pick up that vacuum cleaner and steam gauge assembly, thank you very much. Disarm that air trap on the way in. And as you realize, this area is completely rigged with booby traps. I'm going to make an anchor save and pause the recording to prevent desync. Be right back. And we're back. Apologies for the hiccup. Let's keep going. I'm running a well, running, I'm in the process of drafting the fantasy football with my little brother. It's the first time I've ever played. And let's disarm that pressure plate. Spares us from that battering ram. Note there's nothing to the east. We can head to the west or we can head to the north. Let's go north. And from here again, we can go east or west open the average lock door to the east. There we can find railway spikes, crutches, men's hats, lawnmower with blade, motorcycle handbrakes, pressure cookers, leaf blowers, basically everything you need for every custom weapon. And there's a stealth boy that was hiding inside that difficult to lift metal box, or wooden box. There's basketball down there too. Shotgun shells, medical braces, rad eggs hiding back there, a bunch of Abraxo, first aid box, Shotgun shells, toy cars, paint guns, I don't know what that other thing I just picked up is. Ah, that was vacuum cleaner. I think. Yes, good. No, good, I do want that. Fission batteries, stim pack, more leaf blowers, empty foot locker, Nuka Cola, fire hose nozzles, lunch boxes. Leather belt, ammo, 
more lawnmower blades, motorcycle gas tanks, another vacuum cleaner. A hell of a storage room, really, if you're into all the custom weapons, anyway. Oh, let's go across the hall, through this door. Rad roaches in a cage. Somebody's pets. Huh. Yeah. Let's go the other way. He is hostile, unfortunately. I do like Gallo with his party hat. Take his stuff, which include a copy of Tales of Junktown Jerky Fender, which is good to raise my barter to a natural 100. Three down, ten to go. Awesome. Unfortunately, Gallo does not respawn like the uh, raider in the Bethesda ruins with the U.S. Army 30 hand flamethrower recipes. Ah! Is what it is. Free the rad roaches from the cage simply so we can kill them. Now let's search the room. Feral ghoul with the freezer. Some jet. Strange meat. The oven's got a pile of light and some Salisbury steak. There's another lawnmower blade. Vending machine, two Nuka Colas, three bottle caps. This is back out in the sewer tunnel where we can disarm another bear trap. And. Note that for whatever reason, Gallo has a couple of garden gnomes. Alright. Got a clutch boat dog. Now, in this box, we have. If I can get up on the counter, it'll be easier. Sensor module, turpentine, paint gun, and another sensor module and a handbrake. Good. Grenade box, three frag grenades, wonder glue on the desk, in the desk, a metro ticket, easy locked terminal and safe. You know those two things are related, of course. We got a Nuka Cola Quantum. Let's hack the terminal just for giggles. Here. Oh, almost missed these shells. Not if there's anything there. A few bottle caps on the ground. A few more on the table above the ammo box. Metal boxes. Almost all empty, but we got a Nuka Cola out of one. Now here's his bed. He's a fan of Nuka Cola. Kind of like Sierra, only hostile. Take the Nuka Colas, take those two pre war books, take those pilot lights. In the Foot Locker, you can grab Gallo's storage key, which opens that average lock door. Now that's it for the main line. I'm going to go offload again because we're so close to maximum carry weight. And then I'm going to smite the raiders under that bridge. Because why not, right? been alive entirely too long, if you ask me. Outside. Two megaton. highest available QB. There we go. Let's continue offloading now.
take those new colors. Let's bring in a little quantum. And then drop in here. Let's take those ice cold new colors. It's good to see you alive and well, sir. Let's dash them up here. Since they are otherwise useless. Well, not useless, I mean, I could drink them, but you know. Let's go drop the explosives in the fridge. Let's refresh our well-rested bonus. And let's go smite some raiders. What do you say? We're nearly there now. Nearly done, I mean. Two to go. Pretty straightforward exercise in raider killing. Stay stealthy for the last one, too. Relax, fellas. Trouble's over. 
You have a strange definition of over, my friend. Alright. Now then, let's search the three we killed in here. There's one, he's got a frag grenade. There's two, she's got ammo. And there's three. A little more ammo. Hooray. Alright, let's search. Three more money. Box, trunk. Nothing here. Okay, that's fine. Just fine. Over here we got almost nothing. Just a couple of metal boxes. That one's got a new cola in it. Over here we got some psycho. Bottle caps. Rad X. Abraxo. Couple more caps. That metal box is empty, but let's grab that jet off the top of it. Average lock safe. Get it open. Get all the goodies out. And I think that should about do it. Now. want to discover something. I don't want to explore it yet, but over here to the northwest you can see an undiscovered location. another flooded metro. We're not going in yet because this will eventually be our route to Arlington National Cemetery, which we're not going to explore until we're level 30 and we go after the Luck Bobblehead. But no reason not to get it on the map, particularly because it's right between where we ended up and our destination of Grey Ditch. Let's just go around this building. There's Wilhelm's Wharf, good old Grandma Sparkles. Up and around. Here is Great Itch. Be ready for the fire ants. They're everywhere. You don't want to melee them. For obvious reasons. They can breathe fire. It can really ruin your day. Welcome to Great Itch. So, note the fire ant nectar comes along with the usual ant meat. Just kind of systematically work your way through the streets of the town, shooting fucking ants, clearing the place out. <laughs> Tell that one was just a worker. No problem. No, nothing on this street, so here on the east side. Grey Ditch is pretty nicely contained. You can really tell where everything is because it's walled in. Let's head to the next street. And drop down, that's fine. It. Let's 
and kill this one and Oh good, we discovered Great Edge. We can clear this back to Ooh, a warrior. Those are the strongest flavor. Would be why it didn't die. I just need to get a little closer and make sure we tag it in the head. Well, we need to get a lot closer and make sure we double sure we get the headshot. There we go. Playground's clear. Uh, it's more an alley between the buildings, so let's get back to the street here. There's that soldier we killed earlier. hidden from him right now, so I don't know where that caution is coming from, but pop him, search him, and check upstairs. I don't think there's actually anything in this building. But it's always worth checking. Probably stick my head in that building just to make sure it's empty. Alright, let's head over here. Now here's the shack and the diner that Brian talked about, and you can see Brian's green hash mark hiding inside the preservation shelter. Pop another fire ant. Easy. Search the rest of this street. We got recently built shack with a hard lock. Got spotted. Where's that, that worker over there? have been spotted, so... I'm gonna go ahead and say a lot more helpful for us to get the warrior with the sneak. And if one is gonna spot us, I'd rather it be the worker. Should be obvious. Because we can pop him anyway. Worker's got nothing. Still in caution. There's nothing in this parking lot. Let's do check the diner right quick. Anyway, I hope you noticed the hard lock on the recently built shack. This place will be going after the streets are clear. You cannot get into this trash bin without the key. Not that it really matters. Oh yeah, I almost missed. I almost forgot to read the note. Brian's special key. Brian Wilkes gave me a key to a special cache of items. It's located in a dumpster behind the old diner in Grey Ditch. There you go.
let's search the actual diner now. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. I can see what you're doing, you know. Come on, tell me already. business down now. We already listened to all this. I just want to get it all done. to this street. Wary of the fact that it is daytime now. There's the Wilkes' house. Across the street we have the Brandis' house as advertised. Mail drop box has a cherry bomb in it. into that alleyway, but here is an abandoned home. Let's check these exterior buildings, including their top floors. I don't actually believe there's anything here, but it always pays to be sure. This alleyway looks clear, except for the actual buildings. On the other side... Let's check this building. I think it's the only one we haven't checked in this alleyway. soldier to destroy. It's just around the corner. Wait for him to turn around. Then we'll get him. I think this is just a worker. We should be able to get it. that one down in a minute. Note there's an exit from the town here to the west. Let's search this next row. Should almost be clear. He says his new ones spawn in. There are certain trigger spots that you walk through that make new ants spawn, but they're not unlimited. It is entirely possible to clear the town out. In case you were wondering. Pop up here. Since there was nothing there. Note this second abandoned home.
get the one that spawned over here. Maybe he didn't spawn. No, he is past where I was before. My bad. Gotta get closer. It's a warrior. I either need to get closer or get the headshot. That one definitely spawned behind me. No question in my mind that that area was clear. Doesn't matter. Let's go kill it. Plenty of ants to smite. I do think this side of town should stay clear. Search the one we just popped. Hello, friend. Now uh, let's go back to that next street we needed to clear. Here. Plenty of ants running around. I managed to trigger search mode on at least one. the reservist. It's not a bad idea, actually. This is where it greater distances now. There we go. I hope you'll give me a moment. I need to draft again. Good old fantasy football. Well, let's go and see if we can him. Sure can. Beautiful. He's down there. Already dead. Now let me just show you. This parking lot has nothing in it. As we make our way over here and get ready to search that row of buildings in earnest. Hoping to sneak crit that warrior as well. I need to let him turn. <laughs> Me still out of sight. Okay, the reservist is not quite powerful enough to one shot a warrior. I think that's a soldier. That should be doable. That little guy looks like a worker. Even more doable. him and bag him with the shotgun. And then I can go check the bodies of the four I've just killed and not checked yet. Got him. Well, that 
could be all of them. We shall see, of course. Boom. Ah. Almost forgot that guy. Note there, funny color relative to the giant ants we've seen before. There's my sweet crit. There we go. Now that, that might actually be all. Empty worker. Great. Note that we discovered the Marigold Metro Station. Search that soldier too. Nothing here but the actual metro gates. Alright. Let's kind of fold back in on ourselves. Another exit from the Great Ditch, which we saw before if we didn't explore it. I'm thinking this street, this wall, the walls there. There's nothing in this destroyed building. Let's check this one. We'll go row by row, be systematic. It's always easiest. Trick may made me think there might be something, but there wasn't. That alleyway is clear, as is that one. Nothing there. A couple of spawn ends over here deal with after I check these buildings because once I check these we'll have searched the entire town except for the actual interior cells Should put us in a pretty good position yeah, nothing here that's fine I wonder am I still well rested kill these two, and we'll go. There's not really any offloading to do. There's a little bit, but... Oh shit. <laughs> I thought that was going to be trouble. Let's spawn in a new warrior. No problem, we'll wait for him to turn around. rifle, and we'll go do a little bit of offloading. Our main reason we'll head back is to refresh the well-rested bonus, because there's a lot more smiting to do. Oh, good lord, another one. I guess you have to wind your way through the town a few times before it will stay clear, but I promise it eventually does. I really do think this is going to be the last one. Out in the exterior, anyway. Good night. 
night. Uh, every time I have the audacity to say it. There's another one. At minimum, when this one is dead, it will be time to return to Megaton. And it's a warrior, so... Need to take a bit of care with it. At least if I want to one-shot it, which I do. Leeway, so I'm gonna actually get behind it before smiting it. All right, let's go do a little offload and refresh our. Uh, I mean, a tiny offload. Our main purpose is simply to refresh the well-rested bonus. And I'm actually gonna get my gear repaired. I hope things are going well with you today, the sir. The most handy caravan here I can find. found a sniper rifle in a long time. I think my shotgun is still in decent shape, but my reservist's rifle and my death claw gauntlet might be starting to suffer. Looking to trade? Too, but particularly the rifle, as you can see. Now let's fast travel back to Grey Ditch. Pretty straightforward. Good. No hands. From here, let's head to the south exit. Actually go up and out of Grey Ditch. There are a couple of little side areas we can explore that don't actually have anything to do with those quests. Head up here. Up here, just a little bit to the west. See this door here? Be an unmarked outpost. I found you. Where? Where? It's another of those sets of anonymous ghoul wastelanders who are not feral but nonetheless start hostile. Hey, thought I heard so. Where? Let's, let's bat some. That'll be faster. for the win, but it's my turn to draft, so if you'll give me just a moment, it's time to fill my kicker slot, which to me just means take the highest ranked kicker left, that's how I do. All right. Do him next. That's how it's done with Grim Reaper Sprint, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Ramen skin, fit, and sledgehammer. 
combat knife and wasteland settler outfit. That's all fine. Now how he just appeared in the I will deal with him. Energy cells, microfusion cells. Look at all those energy weapons he has. Anyway, there's still a red hash mark. Let's search all their ammo boxes. Wow, this one's hard locked. Microfusion cell and stealth boy. Another stealth boy. Over here, empty metal box. Nothing good on that table. Let's hop up here. Nothing in the fridge. Nothing. There's an Abraxo. Tin can. Toolbox. Two scrap metals. Turpentine. Tin can. Turpentine. Uh, empty, empty, empty metal box. Tin can and two tin cans and two turpentines on the ground. Two boxes of darts. Empty desk, Mentats, these lockers have six bottle caps, those are empty but don't miss the first aid box, up on top of them, I hear a super mutant, <laughs> grab the pre-war money, Super Mutant. Let's open the very hard lock door. Search the mutant. He's got nothing. And now I need to draft again. But now we're just in the backups. So, or bench players rather. To it. That's it for hostels. Tin can, tin can, empty garbage can, empty gun cabinet, vacuum cleaner, mini nuke, buff out, tin can. Inside the mutant's actual cage is nothing. Over here we have a quantum. Up here there's not really anything, just a combat knife and some wonder glue. There's a grenade box, empty desk, steam gauge assembly, two turpentines, a Braxo, empty metal box, first aid box, and this is a rigged terminal. Let's defuse it and get the grenade. And that's it for the outpost. So let's head back out. Head south from here. Note the iBot up there. I don't really care about the iBot, but note these feral ghouls. Note that we're starting to take rads, so let me pop a rad X. That's just a standard feral. Roamer, which might as well just be standard. I don't know what my other flavors are. I could end up in trouble if there's a reaver. And there is. So let's try to avoid starting combat before I'm ready. I'll pop the roamer now with the reservist's rifle.
there's the Reaper. Let's see if I Probably not. So what we'll do is we'll bag the normal one. We'll get in and fats the Reaper. Hopefully get him with paralyzing palm. Oof. Fourth hit. Could have been bad. The iBot came to help out. A little late, bro. I got him. I got him myself. That's right. Take the Reaver's pre war money. Take the standard one's bottle caps. Let's find and loot the roamer. Damn, where did he end up? There he is. Take his caps. And we'll get in sneak mode, and we'll check out this sewer. Build the gas. to the north, where we can see the ghoul. I'd rather, I'd prefer not to set off the gas. So I'm gonna see if I can gauntlet everybody. We can disarm that trip. Kill that feral. This wastelander. Search these two boxes, including this easy locked one. Let's head to the other tunnel. Repeat the process. Disarm the tripwire. Disarm the bouquet. We got a reaver here. Palm should carry the day for us, just like it did outside. Good thing we were able to get the others first. Let's take him down. There we go. Take his caps. Search him. Take his ammo and pencil. Why not? Very easy locked gun case. Let's get it open. Two missiles and a missile launcher. Dead Wastelander. A few cams. First aid box. Some goodies. Ammo box with a missile. And I believe that's it for this strange but profitable little zone. Now note that more ghouls spawn behind us when we're up at the far northern end. We need to be ready for them. Let's creep down this tunnel. I was really hoping we get gauntlet sneak crits. my turn to draft again, so give me just a moment. Alrighty. Search the fair normal. Search the glowing one. Behold the reaver. Him. That's trouble, for sure. Especially if the terrorizing Paul doesn't work. 
bad trouble. <laughs> Two-part lesson. Pay better attention. Stay in sneak mode. Always stay in sneak mode. Rad X is worn off. That's a problem. Pop another one. Get out of this sewer. Alright. We're done with little side spots now, so... Let's roam north, back to Great Itch. out of the radiation. I'll go ahead and sneak your rat away. And even a stim pack to erase the damage I took. And we'll begin exploring the interior cells in Great Itch itself. First one we'll do is the Lily's house. Diner. Actually, let's pick the lock on the shack before we check the Wilkes house, because the key to the shack is inside the Wilkes house, and I'd rather have the experience for picking the lock. Now let's search the Wilkes house. There's a dead fire ant. Completed, find Brian Wilkes' father. New objective, deliver the bad news to Brian Wilkes. Dead fire ant, dead fire ant. There's Fred Wilkes and the shack key, which I don't mind grabbing now. Not a whole lot going on in here. Open that ammo box. There is a Chinese assault rifle on the shelf there with three clips of ammo if you're so inclined. Let's check the downstairs. We grab a pilot light. Nothing. Let's check the bathroom. Don't miss the first aid box on the wall. Let's check upstairs. There's another ammo box. There's an ammo next to a 32 pistol. A teddy bear. box with a Braxo and five darts. Cool. Let's 
Go ahead and deliver the bad news to Brian Wilkes. Um, anyone out there? Hello? Come on, tell me already. I think I have some bad news for you. Oh no. What happened? Brian, I'm sorry, but your father is dead. He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. I'll stop whatever started this, I promise you. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. I have to go now. Be careful! Or those things might get you. Completed. Deliver the bad news to Brian Wilkes. New objective. Remove the source of the fire ants. All in good time. For now, let's head into the Brandis' house. Bobby pins. Let's check the bathroom. It's got a first aid box, just like the Wilkes. Not much. Let's check upstairs. William Brandis' footlocker has a hard lock. Missile and a missile launcher. Tin can. Empty suitcase. You're listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, president of the Enclave. Frag grenade next to president the desk. President of America. Desk president itself is empty. Of your heart. W. Brandis' terminal has an easy walk. Quotes from the mouth of your president, Perfect. John Henry E. Straight to your heart. W. Brandis' personal notes. 10-2-22-76. I finally found a quiet place for my family. We've been running from one settlement to the next, just trying to keep out of sight. Now that I'm on the other coast, I feel much safer. The family across the way from us seems pretty decent. Their kid, Brian, likes to play with my son, which is great. It's hard for Will to make friends because we haven't stayed in one place long enough. Maybe we can finally put down some roots here in Grey Ditch. 10.30.22.76 I was scavenging some of the nearby buildings for junk to sell and came across a working radio. No sooner did I turn it on than I heard the familiar patriotic anthems they used to play whenever Richardson would give a speech. Uh, this is a tie-in to Fallout 2. For those of you who haven't played that game, it takes place on the West Coast, and Richardson is the president of the Enclave on the West Coast in Fallout 2. But this was different. Who the hell is President Eden? When did that happen? Are they on this coast too? Most importantly, will they come looking for me? I hope this journey wasn't a huge mistake. 11 15 76 some scientist named Alesco moved in with the Wilkes family across the street. They are helping him make some sort of a structure on the old lot near the diner. Lesko offered to pay me caps if I helped, but I declined. I don't know who he's working for, but I don't think they're still looking for me. Our supplies are running low, and I need to begin foraging for food and some better drinking water. I'd have an easier time if it wasn't for the damn ants. I swear they have a nest around here somewhere. 2-24-22-77 these ants are becoming a real pain in the ass, so much so that I had to take a trip to Megaton and buy a better gun to protect my family. It cost me a small fortune. I had to trade every bit of ant meat I had collected, but it was worth it. I'm teaching Frank and Sheila to use it just in case something happens to me. If one of you two are reading this and I'm gone, I keep the gun in the kitchen behind the old fridge. 4 2 I'm going to have to find a better way to protect Sheila and Will from those ants. Ever since Lesko came to town, I'm certain they're getting more and more aggressive.
make my way across the country just to get stuck in this shithole. I'll be damned if I'm going to die here. Now that we're cut off from Lesko and Wilkes, I think we're on our own. The damn ants keep... Morrow is one of the final areas in Fallout 2. It's an enclave base, so... Brandis is a deserting enclave soldier, it would seem. Now let's glance behind. Oh my gosh, a Chinese pistol. Are you serious? Well, I thought that pork and beans was a turpentine. Or a tin can. I'll get rid of that, but I will keep the turpentine. Now... Let's explore the two abandoned homes. Let's start with the one on the same street as the Brandises. We've got a Mentats. Ammo box. 10mm pistol. Pool cue. Copy of Guns and Bullets. There's the real prize. That'll raise my small guns to 94. Excellent. the bathroom. First aid box in the same spot as the other houses. There's a tin can, a Braxo, a couple more tin cans, and a radio in the bathtub. Check the kitchen. Find almost nothing. It's time to draft again. Here we got bobby pins and a bunch of liquor. Over here there's a stash of pre-war money, jet, and med X. Another med X on the ground I almost missed. Good. Got some buff out in there. Almost missed that too. Alright. Now let's try the other abandoned home. Pick one of these and go through it. It's the best way to get there. And this one. Got some tin cans scattered on the ground. There's a hunting rifle. There's a psycho. This bathroom is lacking the first aid box. Let's check the kitchen. We've got a pressure cooker, pilot light from the oven, more tin cans. I don't want that empty whiskey bottle, however. Upstairs. Ten million rounds. Chinese pistol. There's a first aid box. Rad X in the stim pack. And a leather belt. Great. Now, let's head to Lesko's shack. Lock. Let's hack it open. Chemical 2 of 8. Chemical guy. That's not it. Chemical guy. That might be it, but it's not. Chemical guy. There's so much. That must be it. It is. Good. 
Dr. Weston Lesko, private, please do not access without permission. Activate science robot, error, pod empty. Science robot command input, error, robot out of range. Personal notes. Dangers, sample location discovered, where did I go wrong? Dangers. I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. I've heard the rhetoric and the hoopla about playing God. However, I am determined to reduce these poor things back to their original state when they were harmless. Only through genetic recoding is this possible. All that is needed is a proper test subject. My search continues as I tweak the formula. Sample location discovered. I have found the perfect specimen for my experiments inside Marigold Station. Objective changes to investigate Marigold Metro Station and remove the source of the fire ants. I've set up shop underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last minute programming on my robot and it will be ready to perform the delicate injections. Soon I will prove to everyone that my formula is a viable alternative to the destruction of these misunderstood beings. Where did I go wrong? Batch A27 is a complete failure. I must return to my original formulas and begin the process all over again. Perhaps the pressure of working in these conditions without proper laboratory equipment is to blame. Perhaps I simply didn't splice the correct genetic instructions, or perhaps I am fatigued. Whatever the case may be, A27 is proving to be a disaster. I must introduce a new formula soon, or I may not be alive to see my hypothesis come to fruition. Alright. Well, I guess we know how the fire ants got going. Open the desk, take a dart. We've got Dr. Lesko's notes in our pit boy at the sample location discovered. Suitcase doesn't have anything. On the desk is Dr. Lesko's passcode word recording. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formicidae. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. Where's my carry weights? I forgot to look. 141 of 250. That's well, worth going to offload. Two Abraxos. Boxes. Now all that's left is to head to Marigold Metro Station, which, you'll remember, has a separate map marker. So let me pop back to Megaton. Three things. Offload. Welcome home, son. Second thing, restore well rested. Third thing, get repaired. I haven't been finding supplies lately, so. Fighting the wrong kinds of enemies, I guess. Crazy wolf gang. A friend with deep pockets. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need, oh. assuming you need the random junk that I've got. I need to 
hold on to one buff out. Sell him all the weightless stuff I don't use. I'm gathering for that very purpose. A pleasure doing business with you. Hey there. Now, let's fast travel to Marigold Metro Station. And down here is not ants, it's Talon Mercs. If you can believe that. It shouldn't be that unbelievable, these assholes show up everywhere. Do would like to deal with all three with sneak attacks if I Hello? could. Who's there? I guess it was nothing. Still better at repairs than Wolfgang is. So where able to do my own. Now those fools are dealt with. We'll head into the station. Unlike the ones outside, these are very easy to hide from. The metro station should essentially be a non-issue. Dead Raider. Keep on going. So note that we have a door to the east. And a tunnel to the south. Turn to draft. I'm gonna pop on my reservist rifle. I don't know why I'm already in caution land. Let me check these lockers. Well, and now. So, beer in the Nuka Cola truck, no one cares. Cherry bomb in the Nuka Cola, now those I do care about. Sneak attack critical, appeared to be ahead. Didn't die. That's more like it. I've got two ants to serve. That one's back is to us, so maybe we can get close. Worker. Soldier. This one's a warrior. Run! Yes! Got him. Okay. As I was saying, We've got the main tunnel and we've got the side door. Let's head to the door. Thank 
got the scrap metal in the toolbox. Otherwise, nothing. Nothing over here. A few metal boxes. Mine box. Easy lock mine box. Let's get it open. remember last time that happened. Frag mines. Good, good, good. Let's keep going. There's a worker. Popped it. Boss. Here another compass. There it is. Okay, just a little closer. Get in with a good old fashioned sneak crit. Oh good, it's my final draft. Scrap metal sensor module, first aid box, stim pack, two dirty waters, ammo box, railway spikes, lawnmower blade in that wooden box, if I can ever get to it. There we go. Two lawnmower blades, I should say. Empty, empty, empty. This one has railway spikes in a tin can. Conductor and lead pipe. Lawnmower has a lawnmower blade as they have to do. And there's Fire Ant Warrior. Then as we head down through here, we get spit into a tunnel. Let's backtrack, close the loop so to speak, and search the big room. We can go south down the other tunnel. Or east. Said south, I don't know. In the big room. Now let's let's head to the top of the platform. Search from the top down. Well, that ramp is clear. We've searched the ants. Empty garbage can. Nothing up here. Empty garbage can. Check the ticket booth. Skeleton with ammo, a lunchbox, a 32 pistol, and Grady's last recording. A note. Interesting. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gurdershade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Alright. Interesting. We've run into Ronald Lyron before. He's the one trying to get with Sierra Petrovita, who wanted us to turn the Nuka-Cola Quantum into him instead of her. A few tin cans scattered on the ground. Nothing too fancy. Let's head down now to this main platform. A few more tin cans on the ground. Otherwise, nothing too exciting. That garbage can is empty. That garbage can is empty. 
whole lot of nothing on this side. Sometimes a signal that there's something there to find, but not in this case. This track is also a dead end. Over here, we well, got a bunch of tin cans on the platform. Another empty garbage can. Otherwise, nothing. Can. Not empty, but nothing useful. That one has two bottle caps. Alright. Now, we're going east. We can take the north tunnel or the south tunnel. This one ultimately leads to both the exit and completion of those. So let's take the south tunnel first. Fire ant there. No doubt. They're pretty easy to see. I think I'm close. Alright, we can head farther south here, but let's check the connection between the two tunnels. Warrior. This skeleton's got magnum rounds and a magnum. I'm gonna guess that's Brandis. It's just a guess, I don't know for sure. Let me make sure this tunnel is clear back to the door. And now we really have two distinct choices. We can head over there which is exit and completion, or we can head through that door over there. First things first, easy locked ammo box, great. Get it open. And what do we find? 556 rounds, huzzah. Ending machine, Nuka colas locker, nothing, nothing. Silenced 10 millimeter pistol with 10 millimeter rounds, sledgehammer, and a first aid box. Pretty profitable little area, I have to say. Let's move through here. We've got another fire ant, but it looks like it's just one. Gas. He's got nothing. And the tool cabinet. We can keep going. Now let's check this door. There we find cherry bombs, metal box, pre war money, some jet, an ammo box. That's Grady's fire hose box. I can't actually remember if he can pick that lock without the key, so I'm going to take the nozzle, leave the key in here for now, and just see if I can pick the lock or not. Rounds, psycho, stim pack. Leave the safe key. Ten 
this way now. Search this room. Got a metro ticket, three more money. I hear more ants. Conductor in there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Over here we have a toolbox, scrap metal and wonder glue. Got a box. Cigarette. Oh, I don't want the carton of cigarettes. What am I thinking? I do want the metro ticket because they're weightless. Boxes, sensor module, your mileage may vary, of course. Check these. I get a metro ticket, railway spikes, and a tin can. Check these. A whole lot of nothing. And the tunnel continues. Note the green ash mark on the other side of that door. Let's close the loop and go take the other tunnel. You'll see what I mean. Draft is over, that's good. No more interruptions for that. Got a couple of ants. Tunnel forks, there's a curve off to the south. We'll explore that soon, but let's push on to the east toward what is unmistakably an exit. on the map. Don't want to do anything else. Certainly not ready to clear it yet. It's part of downtown DC. Instead, let's take the branch. Murder another ant while I'm at it. Always fun. Spinning light. Let's check the other side first. I do still hear more ants. Go figure. Oh, maybe I was finished. That was silly of me, wasn't it? Actually, two in that one. Wait for the other one to settle down. Kill it too. I don't 
want to blow those gems. I may have to gauntlet it. I don't want explosions. Oh, there's William Davis. We'll search him later. Now let's just make sure I've dutifully checked out both corpses. Note that here the loop closes. Let's head back up here. Dead end of the south. So all we have is the spinning light and the rest of the loop. Let's check out the spinning light. Easy terminal, easy door. Let's see, this is why I left the key behind. Look at all this experience. Sanctum. 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 Tack tank. There we go. Good. Here we have metal box. Nothing good. Metal box. Metro ticket. Toolbox. Scrap metal. Mine box. Two frag mines. Not bad. Ammo box. Metal box. A ripper. Which is not unique. It's just a melee weapon. Railway spikes. First aid box. Ammo box. And Grady's safe with its average lock. Let's open Grady's safe. Let's see what the package is. It's naughty nightwear. Ronald Byron is trying way too hard. Speech plus ten, luck plus one. Good. And taking the naughty nightwear spawns this dude, Lugnut. Not a good idea. I'm only going to ask you this one time. Give me the naughty nightware. I'm keeping it, and I'd advise you to back off before I get angry. All right, all right. My mistake. It obviously belongs to you. Now, uh, you just watch it, because I won't be so nice next time. And now, we can kill him. More experience, always good. Take his shotgun shells. Now let's search Brandis's corpse. He killed a lot of ants. We can take his energy cells and the key opens his footlocker to get that missile launcher. If you couldn't pick that lock yourself. Tool cabinet, bobby pin, metal box, conductor scrap metal sensor module, mine box. Great. Alright, we have completely cleared the station except for this room. I'm going to leave. Not so much to refresh my bonuses, I think they're still good, not so much to offload either, but to deal with that little side quest. Before it drops off my radar. Doesn't take long. Need to exit, fast travel to Girder Shade. Obviously, Falls Church is closer, but with the firefight going on there, er, I probably wouldn't be able to fast travel, so instead, I'll head out the door back into the Great Itch. Here we will 
fast travel to Girder Shade. Track down Ronald Laren. Should actually be in his house, I think. We can give him the nightwear. Yeah. What? We can pass a speech check to get more caps. Do you know someone named Grady? Grady? Maybe. Why are you asking? I have a package for you from him. Holy crap! You have it? Well, hand it over. I've been waiting over a year for that damn thing. I'll sell it to you for 300 caps. No way. That's more than I was... All I'm offering is 200... Nope. Sorry. I'm holding Fine. on to it. Fine. Pass the speech check. Come on now. Something weird's going on here. What? Gr fine, fine. Anything to get it. Here's your caps. Now hand it over. Dotty nightwear removed. 300 bottle caps added. Is there anything else interesting to see near Girder Shade? My friend, you are at the ass end of the Capital Wasteland. If it weren't for Sierra, I'd be out of here. One thing I can tell you is stay the hell away from the Dunwich Building to the south. That place is bad mojo. I don't know what that place is about, but I hear about weird shit going on. I have to go now. Fine, I don't care. Alrighty, good, good, good. Now, let's head to Megaton. More in line with our usual purposes. Offload, refresh well rested, get repairs. Welcome back. home, sir! First is offload. I like having my karma down at good instead of very good. Keeps that villager from hassling me. Let's dock off again. Looking to trade? Can't fix anything. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag. Shall we? That stuff. Another satisfied. Now, go ahead to Marigold Station one more time. Pop in, head through, all the way down to that last room we hadn't explored yet. Before chatting with Lesko, 
going to make a new anchor save and pause the recording to avoid desync. Be right back. And we are back once more. Apologies for the hiccup, but this segment is almost over. Let's go have a chat with Doc Lesko. Phil, you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. This voice is way over the top. Sorry, I didn't expect to bump into anyone alive down here. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. Do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? Experiments? What do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait! I'm a scientist! How marvelous! My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? <laughs> oh, I see. You're trying to make them smaller over time by injecting the eggs. My word! You understand perfectly! How marvelous! So what's gone wrong? Well, I'm afraid I've made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but, but I can't get near my equipment. I'm shocked you didn't attempt this in a controlled environment first. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. What can I do to help? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If the Queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. Just how will this undo the mayhem you've caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? This is a hefty task, Doc. I'm going to need serious incentive. Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. Mutagenic bio-what? I've managed to isolate some of the fire ant genes and distill them into human safe genetic enhancers. I can inject you with one of these formulas and you'll find yourself with either enhanced strength or enhanced perception. Not only that, but you'll be somewhat more resistant to fire. How marvelous! If it'll stop the ants from burning down Great Itch, I'm in. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. What else? Can Eliminate all five nest guardians from the ant queen's hatchery. Optional. Do not harm the ant queen. What else can you tell me about these fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. How did you go from changing their size to breathing fire? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? 
going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Will anything special hurt the ants? I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Just aim for their antennae if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. How the heck can an ant breathe fire? The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw I call its calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? Let me ask you something else. Yes? What do you know about Brian Wilkes? Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He had no regard for the importance of my work. Can't you take responsibility for his father's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Don't you realize you've ruined his entire life? You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. You should have at least told him you were alive. He thought he was alone. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? Let me ask you something else. Yes? About your experiments. Oh my, yes. They're quite marvelous. There are many that say it can't be done, but I'll prove them wrong. Science. Something isn't right. You shouldn't have gotten results like these so quickly. Well, um... I may have used a few, uh, <clears throat> shortcuts, yes. I was told that the FEV works wonders when used under controlled circumstances. Apparently I was wrong, but I know my mistake. I'm certain I can get it to work. FEV is the forced evolutionary virus. It's been around since Fallout 1, appeared in Fallout 2, and appears later in earnest again in Fallout 3, but it's responsible for the creation of super mutants, among other things. What's the goal of your experiments? By introducing my mutagen directly into an ant egg, I hope to reduce the size of the adults. This is a generational system, meaning it will take quite a few broods before the ants are at their destination size. In the end, I hope to make them as small as they were over 200 years ago. How exactly can I destroy the mutagen? Destroy? Oh, no, no, no! You mustn't do that. It's my life's work. Just clear me a path to my equipment and I'll do the rest when you tell me it's safe. Let me ask you something else. Yes? Now you can send him in there to die, but then you don't get either of the injections or his lab coat, and the injections are great, you either get a one point boost to strength or perception. They'll be rendered redundant soon enough when we hit level 30, but they'll be useful until then, so let's keep him alive. I have to go now. Be ever vigilant. Those from the genus Solenopsis are not to be trifled with. Sure thing, Doc. Now you'll notice... Oh, I thought the stuff in here was owned. I guess not. I'll search the metal box, the conductor, get the motorcycle gas tank, 10 millimeter pistol up there, two conductors, ammo box, nothing useful, a cola, ant mead, ant mead, first aid box, stim pack, ammo box, great. On this side we got a sensor module, Dr. Lesko's terminal is owned and average locked. Tin can, bent, bent, tin can, tin can, pork and beans, 10 millimeter pistol, cram, easy lock, ammo box. Rack 
so to your money. Let's head through this door. Down, down, down. Cave. Through this door, which will take us to Moon Ant's Hatchery. We've got five nest guardians to deal with. Search these refuse piles on the way in. Cherry bomb and the Nuka Cola. There's the first one. Four to go. The other three are a bit clustered. I don't like that. Maybe I'll have to gauntlet them in order to avoid alerting them all at once. There's one, two to go. One to go. Now I should be able to get the last one. Nice and easy. Done. Completed. Eliminate all five nest guardians from the Ant Queen's hatchery. Return to Dr. Lesko. Lesko's Protectron, the Ant Queen is down at the other end of the hive, or the actual hatchery. And here we got a couple of boxes of 10 millimeter rounds, a big book of science, which does me no good. Dr. Lesko's Porticomp, average lock, let's get it open. Marauders. Hello, Dr. Lesko. What can I do for you today? Send inhibitor pulse, destroy mutagen sample, synthesize new mutagen formula. Just leave it alone for now. Just be happy that it's hacked. Just the engage assembly, activate mutagen tank, take Nuka-Cola Quantum. We got a couple of fission batteries in there. Otherwise, we're good be back. But for now, let's just head back to Dr. Lesko. Academic, which perk you take. I'm gonna take Might just for the uh, extra 10 pounds of carry weight. They'll both be at 10 fairly soon anyway. 
we go. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? My work is done, Doctor. Oh, how marvelous! Please, tell me what happened. Come now, the faster you tell me, the faster I can provide promised payment for your services. I've killed all the nest guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. I'm ready for my mutagenic bio- Oh, completed. Return to Dr. Lesko. Completed. Optional. Do not harm the Ant Queen. Return to Brian Wilkes. I'm ready for my mutagenic bio-enhancer injection and lab coat, Doctor. Completed. Investigate Marigold Metro Station and remove the source of the fire ants. How marvelous! Here is the promised lab coat. I'm certain you'll find it quite useful. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant mite? Lesko's lab coat added. Unique item. I'd like the ant mite to increase my physical strength. How marvelous! Ant mite it is! Hold still, please. You've been granted the strength and flame resistance of the Great Itch Fire Ants. Your strength is increased by one, and you are now 25% resistant to fire. Very cool. Let's have a look at Lesko's lab coat. 20 rad resistance and a 10 point science boost. Not bad. Now that that's done, we can kill Lesko if we're so inclined. Lesko's portable terminal access and reading glasses. I'm not actually going to kill Doc Lesko. I'll make it right. They'll see. I am. However, I'm going to go back in and destroy the Ant Queen. Shouldn't need to get much closer. But I don't think I can get much closer. Note that we gain some karma for destroying her. You can take the Ant Queen pheromones if you want. Now let's get more karma. We will send the inhibitor pulse, destroy the mutagen sample, neutralizing agent added, mutagen destroyed. Error requires master sight. That's all done. We gained karma. Yes, what did you need? What should I do about Brian Wilkes? You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. Let me ask you something else. Yes? What we, so what will you do now, Doctor? Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home should you ever wish to visit me. I have to go now. Finally! A chance to recant my mistake! How marvelous! Alrighty. Now let's go back to Brian Wilkes.
I wonder if that was enough to push me back to very good. Yep, it was. So, up and out of the metro station. With strength up to six. I can now carry 260 pounds of gear. But the injection isn't entirely frivolous, of course. Even disregarding the fact that all my special will be up to 10 eventually anyway. Well, let's hack Lesko's personal terminal. I don't care if I lose karma. Strong guess. The 25% fire resistance remains useful. Same notes, unlocks the hatchery door. Alright, I don't care. Let's return to Brian Wilkes. So the inhibitor pulse won't really have done anything since I killed all the ants in advance. But if you left any alive, if you stealthed your way through Grey Ditch without popping all the ants, they will be killing each other when you emerge. It's actually kind of fun to see. so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I'm just glad you're safe. I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. I can't leave you here alone. Let me find you a place to live. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Any idea where I can look for someone to take care of you? Completed return to Brian Wilkes. Find a home for Brian Wilkes. Well, papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big, giant ship somewhere or something. Papa called the place Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. I have to go now. You're pretty swell for a grown-up. So, we just continue to collect reasons to go to Rivet City. Let's head back to Megaton now to offload and whatnot. We are not done want something? collecting reasons to go to Rivet City. We'll go there soon enough, but we might as well get all of the Rivet City pointers lined up so we can take care of them all at once, right? I think so. Makes sense to me. Drop in. Golos. Let's drop Wesco's lab code in here. Perfect. So, let's do these three 
things. That's fresh, well rested. It's good. Let's seek repairs. Looking for your fix? It's all right with me. Means he won't die. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag. That's it. Shall we? All right. That's it for this installment of Let's Play Fallout 3. We've cleared out Grey Ditch, and we haven't quite completed the quest load, so we have to go to Rivet City to do that. We're, like I mentioned, we aren't quite done collecting reasons to go to Rivet City. Next time, believe it or not, we're going to work on the main quest. That's right, in the next installment, we're going to head to Galaxy News Radio and look for Dad. Until then, thank you very much for watching.